Hi everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching. Today we're doing a makeup rehab and it has been two months since I've officially done this video. You guys saw that in July I attempted to do no buy um, unsuccessfully, but I think I did like a good use of it. So the numbers that you're going to see down here are just going to be from August. But the numbers at the end are going to include July and August because I kind of showed you what I picked up in July. But I didn't show you <laughs> my gratis. So I am going to show you everything that's coming in <laughs> this month. And my gratis pile is like really big. I didn't realize how much I had picked up um, in the last two months. I think I picked up more gratis in July because I was trying not to purchase. I was like, oh, I'll just grab some gratis. Like, it almost counts like makeup, right? Like, like me buying makeup with like me bringing bags home of other things. Um, clearly, I'm a hoarder. So, but I'm excited to try a lot. Like, I picked up stuff I really like. So, let's dive in to what I actually spent money on. And I'm very proud of myself because I'm looking here and I'm excited for everything that I picked up. First and foremost... Um, I picked up some nail polish remover. This is the one that has like the foam inside and you stick your finger and then do like, you know, move your fingers back and forth and take the nail polish off. Uh, it was on clearance, which is why I picked it up. It was initially $2. Um, again, I got my discount on it. So super cheap, excited to have this in my collection. I used one of these up before and I think that they're good quality. So I picked it up again. I did not need nail polish remover in like full transparency and not need nail polish remover. I actually have another one in my backup right now. But I thought for like the price it was worth picking up. I also happened to see that they put Pureology, these kits, 25% off at Ulta. I think it's still going on. Um, I don't know if it remember. I'm filming this like a few days early and I don't remember if it ends on the 28th or on the 1st. I don't, I don't remember if it ends the 28th or the week after, but... They had these little trial kits, 25% off, and I've always kind of wanted to try Purology. Like, Purology's one of those brands that, like, I can't pay $30 for a shampoo. Like, I just can't. That is so expensive. I'm happy with my $15. I think, like, $25 is a lot, but $30 just for something, like, hurts the heart. So, I never buy it, and I've always wanted to try it. I picked up the Pure Volume. I wanted to pick up the Hydrate, but we had sold out in our store for that, so I just, I couldn't. I didn't have that chance. So, this has four things in it. The shampoo, the conditioner, the Color Fanatic Multitasking Spray, and the dry shampoo. I think just the Color Fantastic and the dry shampoo alone were things I was interested in, and then the shampoo and conditioner were also things I was interested in, so I'm excited to try the line and see if I like it and see if it's worth the money people are paying for it. People buy it all the time, and... Everyone's like, is it good? I'm like, I don't know. Let me talk to somebody else about it. But people seem to love it. I don't I don't know. I don't know. If you guys have you tried Pureology, which line do you use and why do you like it? I almost picked up the Hydrate Sheer when it went on sale. Like it was part of like, I don't know if it was 21 Days of Beauty or 21 Days of Hair or whatever that was. But um it looked good. Sorry, I'm hoping this lighting's better. I apologize about that. Okay. The next thing I picked up was for National Lipstick Week. Hey. <laughs> um, I don't remember if I showed these or not. I remember that I showed the Juvia's Place because I put, I don't remember when I bought these. <laughs> but I think it was in August because it was National Lipstick Week. I don't remember when that was. But I picked up two lip products for National Lipstick Week. Um, both of these I really, really want to try. I realize I don't need any more lip products. Like, I get it. I get I get it. This is my downfall, though. Okay, for $15, I picked up the It Cosmetics Pillow Lip Solid Serum, and I picked it up in the shade Moment. This people also have been raving about, and the formula looks fantastic on this. Um, it's like a tinted lip balm. It's really moisturizing. It has my favorite type of packaging for a lip product. You know, the type where you push the bottom and it pops up the top. I love that. It's one of these great packaging bits. You push the bottom. It looks really dark, the one I chose. But when I tell you it's the best berry shade, it's like perfect for fall. I'm very excited about this. I thought $15 was a steal on it, especially with my discount on top of that. So, can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> lip products. Um, I also got the Clarins Lip Comfort Oil. I got it in the mint. Um, 
we didn't have too many shades in our store to be completely honest with you we had like basically nothing <laughs> it was like mint and then i had like the bright red one but when i remember when these launched i wanted it so bad but this is like a 30 dollar lip oil or a 26 dollar lip oil what is it i'll put it right here um oh my god i was like i can't i can't spend that much but everyone was like it's so good it's so good it's so good and i'm like i bought it went on sale so i picked it up <laughs> this is the first time i've ever seen a sale on it at least at ulta um so i was really really excited to get it into my collection and i'm so happy um the mint one is one that i do like i like the fact that it's blue it makes my teeth look whiter but it's really sheer it's like a pretty clear like gloss i'm very very excited about that one then ulta I wish sometimes these like sales would overlap so I could make like less purchases <laughs> and get the best deal possible. Um, but all to did their 10 times the points for like your platinum and diamond members. Oh gosh. Okay. So the thing about that is if you do the math, right? The 10 times the points deal is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, if you want more like in-depth detail on like how to get the best deal of Ulta, let me know. I did a video like many years back about that, but if you're still interested, let me know. I would love to do a video of you like, get your money's worth from Ulta. Um, so when 10 times the points come out, this is the way it works. You guys know for every dollar you spend, you get a point at Ulta. Then they'll do like two times the points, three times the points, five times the points for special deals. Like your birthday month, you get double the points. Or sometimes they'll do like five times the points on skincare or three times the points on mascaras. Like they'll do things like that, right? If you do the math right and you turn in the points when you want to, you are going to get a stellar deal out of this. And this is what I mean. So if you are one of those people who don't shop at Ulta very often and you get 100 points, you redeem it for $3. If you were a shopper like me or anybody else at like the platinum and diamond level, meaning you spend over $450 a year at Ulta, what happens is if you use your money correctly and build up these multi-point deals, you can basically almost get your money back. <laughs> like it's almost ridiculous the way you think about it. And this is what I mean. So if you redeem at the 100 point mark, you're never going to get a great return on your points because you're only getting 3% back. But say you do spend a lot of money there and you get 2,000 points, right? And you redeem it at that $2,000 level. You get $125. Um, what? What? Now let's say you do take advantage of a 10 times the points and you're trying to get to that 2,000 mark, right? That means you have to spend $200 to get 2,000 points, which redeems at $125 off. That means you can get $325 worth of product for 200 bucks. Do you see how we did that? So if you spend $200, you're going to get 2,000 points. That doesn't even include, by the way, your diamond and your platinum bonus. I'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> okay. For the $200 you spend, you're going to get 2,000 points straight up. Then... Your next purchase is going to have $125 off. That's amazing. That is amazing. Now, take into account, if you're diamond, you're not just getting one point for every dollar you spend. You're getting 1.25. So tack on an additional 25% into your points. I'm sorry, what? That actually means you get an additional 50 points on top of it. So you're not getting 2,000 points. You're getting 2,050 points. <laughs> and then wait, wait a second. What if you have the Ulta credit card? Now I realize the Ulta credit card is not for everybody. So if you don't have it, awesome, that's fine. If you do have it, you're going to get an additional two times the points. So add an additional 250 on top of that. So you actually got 2,300 points. That's another $9 off. So now, instead of having $125 off, you have $134 off. And you, all you spent is $200 and you have a $134 gift card to Ulta pretty much. You could use it on hair. You could use it on brows. You can use it on product. 
that I, it's just it blows my mind what Ulta does and that doesn't even include any points you already have <laughs> this is if you're starting at zero points um I don't know I took advantage now I did not spend $200 because I already knew I made some purchases this month but there were some things that I first see for holiday that I want for my friends and family that have already launched so I went ahead and I just like picked up a few things like to make sure that I'm ready for it <laughs> <laughs> and by a few things, I just mean two. One is this NARS Matte and Glow Mini Lip Duo. This came out with the new shades of the nudes, and I'm really excited about this. Um, in here, I've got two products. I've got the Matte Velvet Lip Pencil, and this is in the shade Dolce Vita, and then I've got, no, Bahama. Sorry, it's in the shade Bahama. And then I've got their lip balm in the shade Dolce Vita. Really just pretty nudes, good standard fall shades. I thought I could throw this in someone's stocking and they'd be really happy about it or do like a Secret Santa gift with this and they'd be happy about that too. I also picked up this NARS set. This is, I know, two NARS sets. This is the Orgasm Mini Eyeshadow Palette. This mini palette is for me. <laughs> but this mascara I thought would be a good add-on to someone's gift. Just like throw a little mascara in there and like, it's a great mascara. It looks like Better Than Sex but it's NARS so it's got that fancy packaging on it. I just thought this was a really nice add-on, and the price was right on both of those. Then, the last thing I got, I want to try this new formula. This is the new Milani Lipsticks. I know they've got other shades of this. I haven't been interested in them. When I saw this shade launch, I was like, mm-hmm. This is shade 440 Passion, and I do like this packaging. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like it. I think it's kind of cool. It has, like, the cutout diamonds on it. I spent a long time thinking about what shade I wanted from this. And I'm hoping I really like it. I'm actually opening it now because I'm still a little nervous. But I thought if I wanted like an earth tone, oh, that is, isn't that just right up my alley? It's a little bit deeper than I thought it was going to be. It said it was like a pinky brown. Oh, oh my God, that went on like butter. Mm-hmm. That looks great for fall. I would say it's more of the, a deeper brown than I was expecting, uh, but I think that will look really nice on me. What do I have on right now? I got a little gloss on. Let's just put it over top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> now I'm realizing the color is different. Like, I can never quite get my lighting right in this living room. But that looks awesome. I don't know why my lips always go over there. Right there. <laughs> my lips don't quite match up on this side. <laughs> um, I really like that shade. I'm super excited. I think that looks fantastic. This is definitely a keeper. The formula is super smooth. It feels very hydrating on the skin. It's got the slip that I really love to it. It does have a little scent to it, but not like the, do you remember how Milani used to have like that really perfumey, almost like L'Oreal scent to it? Um, except it wasn't flower. I think this was like a, I forget, it was sweet though. This has a little scent to it as well, but it's not crazy. I love that. Oh my God, YouTube, you are right. These are awesome, so awesome. The last thing that I picked up actually just launched. <laughs> and I'm gonna say something totally stupid. I, it's like confession time. It's totally confession time. I've never owned a Morphe palette until this month. I realize that sounds crazy to some of you. <laughs> it's like Morphe is, I feel like one of those brands that everyone has tried. But um, I haven't. <laughs> At least I don't remember trying anything from them. I always used to confuse Morphe with Sigma, which BH Cosmetics. And I know I've tried BH Cosmetics palettes. They're not bad. But I, like, especially, do you remember um, the Solstice palettes? Oh, I think I still have that. That's an amazing palette. And then I have, like, the multi, but when the multi-pans came out, I was just like, oh my god, these are so big, I can't handle that. <laughs> and also I was really into, like, other palettes at that time. Um, but I decided once I saw this palette that I was gonna have to dive in. And it is the Coca-Cola and Morphe collab Cherry Cook. This is their eyeshadow palette. It's 18 shades. It's actually a little bit more than their standard palette cost is. It's $24 full price. But um, how do I say this packaging spoke to me because it's gonna remind you of something I already have. <laughs> this is what the inner packaging looks like. First of all, it comes with a sheet with the shade names on it. That's never going to last. 
And that is the palette. Okay, who just screamed Too Faced? Does that not just look like the Too Faced palettes? First of all, packaging, exactly the same. This is a metal tin here. Fine shape mirror, I don't really use those. You can't hold it up anyways, like the mirror doesn't stay up. It kind of just does that hinge out. But these shades in here are dynamo, absolute dynamo. Um, they've got this purple here, the red, these beautiful shimmer shades. Like I can see myself using any area of this palette. Now I realize the pinks and reds are a bit trendy. God, this looks like Venetian red from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which I could never use because Anastasia shadows make me cry. <laughs> oh my God, but you still have the neutrals here and oh my God, that plum. Oh, oh, I'm so excited for this palette. I'm so excited for this palette. I can't wait to dig my hands in. This is, I'm like dying to get going on this one. Thank God it's the end of the month. This is gonna be my one month one palette. Shout out. <laughs> Like, I'm ready to go on this one. Um, yeah, I'm super excited, and I'm... It's my new baby. Should I take this? Should this be my uh, thumbnail? <laughs> that is everything I purchased. Now, if you don't mind, let's kind of breeze through what I got for gratis, because this is quite the gratis haul for me. And this... Um, I'll actually tell you, part of this is gratis, and actually part of this are free gifts that I picked up as well, like when I made an online purchase, like that 10 times the points, they had like a gift for members who purchased that day. So I did that too, um, but a lot of this I'm super excited about, like I'm so, I want to like dig my hands in so fast on these, and some of them I actually have already used, and some of them I haven't, so let's get into it. I did pick up um, Briogeo's Hair Care Kit. I have tried their hair mask before. It came in one of my Ipsy bags, like way back when I used to get Ipsy, <laughs> like six years ago. Um, and I wasn't impressed with it. It was too heavy for my hair. But I thought I should try their sh their smoothing shampoo and conditioner as well as the Farewell Frizz Leave-In. Um, I just thought that that would be good for my hair, especially since it is frizzier. I am a little nervous it's going to be too heavy for me, um, just like the last one was. Because Briogeo in general, I feel like is a heavier brand. It's much better for like medium to thick hair. But I'm excited to see if this one works for me and just give it a go. I, if it doesn't work for me, it's not going to stay in my collection. Like this one's going to be like a one and done. I just need to try it to recommend to people. I picked up the Carolina, oop. I picked up the Carolina Carrera Good Girl fragrance. I really like this. <laughs> this is the original. This one's my favorite. Um, I also really like the Very Good Girl that just launched. It has more of a berry scent to it. I think it's great going into fall, but I don't see it as a year-round scent. I really see it just as a seasonal scent. So I picked up this one instead of that one. Plus, they didn't send us the other one for gratis. This one I love. This is the Dermalogica Age Smart Day Super, Daily Super Exfoliant. Have you ever tried the Dermalogica Super Foliant? It's great. It is great, and I know it looks strange because it's like a powder, but as soon as you add water to it, it foams up. Um, I think people are just a little nervous about that. I've never tried the Daily Superfoliant, so I'm excited to try like that one instead of the Microfoliant. I think this will help me out. Um, it's because I already know I kind of like it. Alta started carrying Bobby Brown. Say what? Um, oh, in case you all were wondering, the initials that you see on these boxes, that means I'm allowed to take it out of the store. That's a loss prevention measure for Ulta Beauty. Um, just so that my managers know and I know that it came from gratis and I didn't just like walk out with it. Um, I don't know if you care about that, but you will see it on a lot of this packaging. Um, this is the Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Obsessed. Obsessed with this. And they were so generous. Can we talk about Bobby Brown? Thank you so much. Thank you. This is a 3.4 fluid ounce. It's massive. It's so massive. This isn't this so bougie. Look at this. It is glass. It is heavy. It looks beautiful. I'm going to use this every day. Every day. I don't even want it to run out. I'm like hoarding it. Um, absolutely amazing product. It is expensive. But try it. Like, try it. I find that my skin looks great with it. It looks great under makeup. It looks great on its own. Love it. It's a thicker, <clears throat> it's a thicker texture than a lot of people are used to, but give it a try. I promise it's well worth it. This is like a holy grail for so many people, and I totally know why now. 
These I didn't know I'd like so much, but I'm really excited I picked them up in gratis for this reason. It's the Pure Mellow Eyes. So there are 30 pairs of hemp infused eye patches in this one. These are the green ones that just go right underneath the eyes. The shape is a little bit different. They kind of look like fish. Um, I've already used quite a few of these. <laughs> My only thing I'll tell you about them is that I, the hemp makes a big difference. The hemp really cools down my under eyes, especially on these really hot days here in Tennessee. They've done a really good job on my under eye, keeping me looking hydrated and refreshed. Um, they do move a little bit, like they like to sit lower, like almost on the apples of my cheeks, but it gets close to the under eye and that tail does swing up nicely to where my crow's feet are starting to form. So I like these, I'll pick them up again, especially if they go on sale. I think for 30 pairs, the price is right. Like I will spend a a dollar fifty or three dollars on a pair. <laughs> you know, like the Tony Moly ones are like three bucks. So I'd rather pick up a pair like this and get like a bunch more for my money. Another new brand for me, Undone Beauty. They sent us their warm up bronzer palette. This is actually an all over face palette. My manager was what's the name again? Was dying about this palette. So I wanted to give it a try. I'm very excited about this. What's interesting is they call this a bronzer, but look, they've got some shimmer in there too. So you can either, you've got four strips of color. You can either mix them all together or you can use them as eyeshadows separately. And they're actually big enough. Like this, like look compared to the size of my hand. Like this is like real, it's a really good size. And I don't know if I would have picked this up without my manager's encouragement, but since it is a new brand, I like to try at least something from every new brand, you know? Um, the pigmentation looks good. It looks like a really easy palette just to like throw in your purse and travel with. You got your eye looks, your face looks. It's just like, it's a one and done. And I don't know if that's why it's called undone. Um, I will tell you the packaging feels like that clasp is not good. Not a good clasp. So it feels a little cheap, like just from that clasp perspective, but the other parts seem like good standard plastic packaging. So I don't know what happened to the slash and why it's so loose, but in general, I, I'm excited to try this. Apparently, I was in a shampoo and conditioner phase of life this summer. Um, I also picked up the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day shampoo and conditioner little mini guys. Um, I've tried this before. I don't remember if I was impressed or not. I don't think I was. So when a Living Proof rep, I decided to pick these up to see if it was like, if I like them even more now. <laughs> I don't know. You know how sometimes your hair changes? I've also found here, my hair has been really heavy and it looks oily a lot. So I'm wondering if something like this would help me out more now with the hard water than like other times in my life. Exuvians, okay Exuvians, I see you coming through with the full size gratis here. <clears throat> this is the HA micro filler. It has a four week supply. And what's really interesting about this one is that you put this like serum into these cones and you can put them where you need them. So laugh lines under the eyes, on the forehead and this will help get rid of lines. What? Okay, so this is 100% pure hyaluronic acid and it's designed to dissolve into the skin overnight, plumping and filling the look of expression lines with surface hydration. Um, okay, that sounds amazing. I'm interested to see how they work on these guys right here. <laughs> because if you think about just hyaluronic acid, and I don't know what 100% pure hyaluronic acid is going to be like, but it's just this serum, and then you have, oh my gosh, it just must be crazy. Like, it just must super, super hydrate, and that's what fills in the look of the fine lines. They're not actually getting rid of them. Don't let this fool you. This is not a permanent solution. <laughs> but if you have, like, a special event, and if you do this going up to it, say, like, a wedding or something... I don't know what other people have, balls, holiday parties. Wouldn't this be nice to do just so you feel better about yourself? Like, I feel like that's what beauty does. It, like, it, it builds my self-confidence. And I think something like this might be really nice to do that with, especially as I get older. I'm so excited about this. I don't know why. I'm just really, really excited about that. I also thought this sounded kind of fun. Okay, this might be a hoax. Okay, it might totally be a hoax. In case you're wondering if my name is really Julie, it really is. <laughs> you also have to label your products. The This is called the Good Patch, and this has B12 Awake, and it's supposed to promote 
sustained energy. And you're supposed to place it on the inside of your wrist and wear up to 12 hours. I don't know what's in here. It does say that this is not FDA approved. <laughs> uh, I, ju I literally just says it as B12 caffeine or green tea extract in it. Um, I don't, can those things, can, I know caffeine can go through the skin, but can green tea extract go through the skin? I know some moisturizers have it in there, but I didn't know it could just like go like there and give you energy all day. I didn't know that was part of it. So I'm excited to give this a try. Um, it does not say to use while pregnant or nursing without first consulting your doctor, wash your hands afterwards, but I don't know. It sounds really interesting. I don't know, a day where I'm tired, I might just check this out. Um, it does say it's from the brand BioTree, but it's called the Good Patch. Doesn't that sound interesting? If I could just like stick this on and then be wider awake, I'd be down for someone like that. <laughs> okay, let's talk about more skincare. The Shiseido Wrinkle Resist Pure Retinol Express Smoothing Eye Mask. I thought, why not? I like eye masks. I picked this up before I picked up the pure one because that hadn't come in yet. So I'll give this a try. It's just a single set, so this will be easy for me to go through. I also picked up the Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Plus Global Anti-Aging Cell Power Cream. I don't know what a cell power cream is, but I'm willing to give it a try. Sounds like a moisturizer. <laughs> Um, this is the Clinique All About Eyes. This is a bestseller for us, and I've never tried it, so I picked this up just so I could know more about it. Um, it says reduces circles, puffiness, so I can use all of that. I hope it actually works. I'm actually, I could use a good eye cream right now. I'm not in love with the one I'm using. This is the Origins Checks and Balances Polishing Face Scrub with Tourmaline. I don't know why you'd want a tourmaline rock. <laughs> to scrape off your face, but apparently Origins thinks it's a good idea. Um, it says it's formulated with bamboo and silica. Also don't know why I want silica to scrub my face off, um, but it must be a good physical exfoliator. I've never, I haven't really been thrilled with Origins products, so I thought I might just give that one a try and see what I think about it. Um, I also picked up the BioClarity Hydrate Skin Smoothie. And this has Floralox, don't know what that is, argan oil, and olive oil in it. Um, I, I'm sure the olive oil uh, is somehow formulated to not clog my pores. The argan oil is also something I need to be cautious about. But because this is a new brand for Ulta and for me, I wanted to give it a try. I do break out with argan oil, so I'm hoping this doesn't do it for me. But we'll see what ends up happening. And olive oil doesn't, I think that makes my skin more sensitive. I don't know. I haven't really loved anything with olive oil in it. But again, I don't know BioClarity, so I want to give it a try. Then I've got the First Aid Beauty KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub. Yes, it, this is a cult classic. Absolutely adore it. I used this before my wedding, and I used it to like get like that skin off the back of my arms. And my husband has a lot of bumps on his body, and I thought this would be really good for him to use as well, so I picked this up for him. I also picked up the Kula Refreshing Water Cream. This does have sunscreen in it because it's Kula. Anytime I see Kula come through, I always pick it up. Again, just a little sample size. Super excited about this. It doesn't expire until 2023. So I feel like this will be great for next summer to use. Um, I'm gonna use it probably now too. I might give it to my sister. She's obsessed with Kula, but I just thought this would be a good one to try um, to get like, Broad SPF. I mean, this has SPF 50 in it. Do like SPF and moisturizer together. I thought this one might be nice. Especially if it doesn't leave like a white cast or anything like that. All right, one less makeup product. Okay, Hourglass, full size. Thank you. This is amazing. Like, this is amazing. This is the Hourglass Soft Focus Setting Spray. <laughs> you guys know I'm obsessed with their primer. They have one of the best primers that I've ever had. Uh, it's just so good. The Mineral Veil Primer. This is their setting spray. I could not have jumped on this faster when I saw this and I was given the opportunity to pick something. It's just your regular aerosol metal tube. Feels amazing. Looks amazing. Super classy. Yep. Thank you, Hourglass. I'm excited. My store doesn't actually sell Hourglass yet. And I'm hoping we do. I hope we get it in our location because we got Bobby Brown. So maybe Hourglass won't be far behind because I'd be obsessed with this. Their blushes, I still am obsessed with his blushes. 
Okay, I promise we're almost done. I promise. So these are just some little kits, things that were freebies that I got. I think this was part of my 10 times the points. First of all, my favorite eye masks of all time, Skin Iceland. The firming cooling eye gels are absolutely stunning. They're coming up on 21 Days of Beauty, so keep an eye out for that one. I highly recommend you pick them up. Little Mineral MAC Fix Plus Spray, just a tiny little guy. Look, it's so small and adorable. How can, how can one say no to this little sprayer? Oh my god. <laughs> I think I have like three of these now. I just can't help it. They're adorable. Anytime I see that in like a sample pack, I'm like, I'll take that sample pack. <laughs> it's really that one and that one alone that made me choose this one. Actually, this one wasn't bad either. This is the Paracone MD Growth Factor Firming and Lifting Serum. This is the high potency one. Paracone MD is not a brand I particularly know a whole lot about, but I'm interested in trying it. This is the Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightener. I'm so excited we started carrying Good Molecules. Um, I think it's such a great brand. I think it's very similar to the Ordinary um, with some like positive differences behind it because they don't have a crazy CEO. Um, but Niacinamide I'll always use. My skin reacts pretty well to that. Then I've got the Sunday Riley CEO Brightening Serum. I've already tried this. I do like it, so I was excited to get a sample of it. I never bought it because I think it's too expensive for what it does for the vitamin C that my skin reacts to. Like, my skin likes Derma E <laughs> vitamin C, so I'm not going to splurge on Sunday Riley vitamin C, but I'm excited to get a sample of it again. And then I've got the Clinique High Impact Mascara. A good classic mascara. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. I actually don't know if I'm going to keep this in my collection or give it to a girlfriend, but I decided to show you to in case I do keep it. But if it disappears, it's okay. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. It's just I've tried it before, and it's it's not my love, but I don't dislike it. We have made it to the end. How are you guys doing? This is a longer video than I expected. I had so many <laughs> free products this month of gratis. I'm so excited, though, to test some of these products out. I think they're absolutely amazing, and I'm excited to see what I like and what I dislike. Let's go through some totals, though. This is what I spent for the month of August, and this is my total for the entire year of my total expenditures. Now, last year in 2020, I only spent $650 on makeup, and we're not even to holiday yet, and I've already surpassed that goal. Um, but here we are. Uh, yeah, I wasn't in the makeup field last year. I am now. I've got the career there, so or a job. I don't know if it's a career or a job yet, but we'll figure it out here pretty soon. <laughs> Right now, I'm just enjoying it, and that's all that matters, and I make enough money to live on and buy more makeup with, so <laughs> winning in all fronts there. This is my total empties for the year. This is not include the empties video that I'll hopefully be filming here maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after, maybe this afternoon. We will find out, because um, this video took a lot longer to film than I thought it was going to, so now I need to get ready for work. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. If you have any direct questions about working at Alta or Alta deals or things like that, things that I don't know that I've learned by working there, I would love to tell you, or my top 10 products that Alta sells. <gasps> Is that a good video idea? I don't know. Let me know. Thank you. You have a great day. Happy panning. Bye.